no matter what you go through in your life, no matter how tough, how hard it may seem, it may feel like you can't make it through and that it feels like the end or it feels too hard. But every time you get to that point in your life, you need to remember that you can make it. You can make it. You can make it. No matter what you're going through, God is going to see you through. You can make it. You, you can make it. I don't care what's going wrong. God won't let it last too long. You're not in this, this thing alone. You, you can make it. Mm-hmm. We're blessed, so blessed, how blessed, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Hi, my treasures. If you're new, I am Beijing Treasure. But if you're returning, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Thanks for all the love and support you're showing me. All my channels where you can reach the load. If you stay long enough, you can find something else. So, you know what today is? Today is. Sunday, happy Sunday, happy, happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy, happy Sunday to you, and you, and you, and you, and you, happy Sunday, happy, happy Sunday, happy, happy Sunday, thank God for life, thank God for you, the Father, we thank you, praise, we rejoice in your name, hallelujah, hallelujah, guys, so we're here another Sunday, we live to see another Sunday, Thank God. Thank God for waking you up. Thank God for life. Thank God for whatever you have. It might not be the best. You, you know your situation might not be the best, but thank God that you have a life and it could always get better. So, you saw the beauty, my beautiful sister, sis, my sister Casey, the daughter Diva, singing that amazing song. I love that song. You can make it. You you can make it i love that song i love her i just want to share that because as i said we all go through things and so then we just need a little push up so my treasure today i'm going to share a video from pastor sean pinder it really helped me this week so i hope it would be a blessing to you also so without no further ado let's get into that morning to you saints of the most high god on this morning we are talking about your prayers are working you know i was so happy when the holy ghost put that thought in my heart to use as a title because it's very important for you to know that your prayers are working because when you feel like nothing is being done you're crying out to god and it seems like you ain't getting anywhere listen for some reason, you begin to get discouraged. Come on, talk back to me. So let's go into the book of Luke chapter 11. And before I go into Luke 11, let me quote something to you. First John chapter 5, I believe it's verse 14 and 15. The Bible says, and this is the confidence that we have in him, the confidence we have in the Lord Jesus, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, that if we ask anything, now that's a blank check right there, if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that God hears us, the Bible says, we have the petitions that we desire from him. Are you listening? So the Bible says you got to be aggressive, but there comes a place in your prayer where the Spirit of God imparts a confidence that the thing is about to be answered. This is the confidence we have in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. If we know that God have heard our prayer, man, you ought to get to shouting because the prayer is going to be answered glory to god now i want to take you with that being said i want to take you into luke 11 verse 5 through 10 the bible 
says, then teaching them more about prayer, he used this story. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Suppose you went to a friend's house at midnight wanting to borrow three loaves of bread. And you say to him, a friend of mine has just arrived for a visit and I have nothing for him to eat. And suppose he calls out from his bedroom, don't bother me. <laughs> some of you'll just, some of you'll just turn away and go on home. The doors locked, don't bother me for the doors locked for the night and my family and I are all in bed. I can't help you. And you know what? Some people, the minute they hear no the first time, they think their world have come to an end. They get discouraged. They look like a little puppy dog with his tail, tail curled between his legs and they walk off sulking and in discouragement. Friend, you ought to know even in the business world, in the natural, you can't be quick to take no for an answer. My God, if I ought to listen to people, I ought to know never left the Bahamas and for an, an answer the call of God come into America to preach the gospel and do what God called me to do. There were the naysayers. Oh, yeah, right, would ever go to Bible school. Ah, he won't make it. Ah, the devil is a liar. 25 years later, I'm still on the wall. Glory to God, I want to preach almost. But I tell you what, I'm still on the wall. I ain't going nowhere and I've learned something over these years in ministry. You got to refuse to take no for an answer. Man, if you just get discouraged at everybody that tells you no, you ain't going to make it. The Bible says if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. I dare somebody to say my strength is not small. I'm going to hang in there. Hey, Rabba Bakashata. I'm going to just hang in there. I got pit bull tenacity. I got crazy faith. I refuse to quit. I don't care how bad it looks. I don't care how much devils are laughing and saying I look like a fool. I just refuse to give up until the breakthrough comes. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. And with that being said, the Holy Ghost wants you to know your prayers are working. Oh, uh, I know they told you no, but your prayers are working. You feel like God ain't moving or doing nothing about it, but the Holy Ghost tell me to drop a note to you and tell you, your prayers, your prayers are, hey, glory to God. I dare somebody to shout it. I dare you to type it. My prayers are working. It's working. That's why all hell's breaking loose. Yeah, I say, that's why all hell's breaking loose. Because the devil and all the hell know that your prayer is working. He is nervous because your heart's desire is about to be granted. It's like a pregnant woman. She begin to get those pains in her stomach as a signal. My God, that this baby... <laughs> it's getting ready to come. Somebody shout. My prayer. Ah, I feel the Holy Ghost. My prayers are working. I ain't gonna stop praying. I asked yesterday. I'm gonna ask again today. I'm gonna ask again tomorrow. I'm gonna pray about it next week. I ain't gonna stop until I get my answer. I'm not gonna stop. Somebody shout. My prayers are working. Hey, shut up, my little It's working, it's working, it's working. It's working. It's driving the devil crazy. It's driving principalities crazy. It's driving powers crazy. Rulers in the darkness of this world. It's driving the open man nuts. It's driving the warlock, the witches, the naysayers, the doubters, the dream killers, the gossipers. It's driving them crazy because your plans are working. They're working. Somebody shout. My prayers, my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Hey, my prayers are working, it's working, it's working. 
It's working. I feel the Holy Ghost talking to somebody. It's working. Hear me, Shatta. My prayers are working. They're working. <laughs> now watch this. So, so Jesus said, even though the man said no the first time, it says in verse eight. But I tell you this: though he won't do it for friendship's sake, if you keep knocking long enough, if you keep knocking long enough, knock again. I dare somebody to say, "I'm gonna knock again. I'm gonna ask again. I'm gonna seek again. I'm determined." Can I break through? My God, Jesus said, even though he wouldn't give it to him, because he is his friend, that man on the inside of the house will get up at midnight and open the door and give him as much bread as he needs. Your prayers are working. Somebody shout, it's working, it's working, it's working. Hallelujah. So my treasures, I hope you enjoyed that message. I hope it was a blessing to you and yours. Please share the message. If you don't know Pastor Sean Pena, I'll be leaving his link in the description box. And also be leaving a link for my beautiful sister, Casey the Dots Diva, in the description box. Also, because she's amazing. And guys, I just I just want I just would like to help people is i would love to be able to help anyone so if the videos i put out is a blessing to you please let me know i greatly appreciate it i saw my beautiful sister emma from the montgomery channel giving out some stuff to the homeless i was i i like that emma i'm very proud of you that's amazing and as you say when you could do more you you do more okay so my treasures, let's say a small prayer, a very small prayer, and then be be out. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your love and your blessings, Father. Father, we need your guidance, Father. Father, we every day is a struggle. But we know you're dear with us and we're gonna make it true. As my beautiful sister sang that song. We can make it, yes. We can make it because we have you, Father. Father, we thank you. Father, help all my friends and family. How my YouTube community. Anyone's going through something, let it come to you. You'll be able to help them. I know you do everything in your time. That's okay. You know, Father, we all have our issues. All we need for you, Lord, is for you to help us and guide us to be better people. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. My treasures. I haven't heard from my beautiful sister. I so bad with names. Tasha Elaine, not average. I have to look for her email so I can email her because I haven't seen a video from her in a minute. So if anyone know if everything is Okay, if her if she could train thing, let me know. I really need to get in contact with her. Just want to know she's good because at the end of the day, we are sisters. Yes, not blood sisters, but sisters by Christ. And we should be worried about any of our friends. Even if they are just you two friends and family, we should worry if you don't see them. Worry about them because they are friends, true friends. I mean, really. I mean... Mark friends, I mean to be friends. You love them, you care for them, you're concerned. So my treasures, thank you so much for watching. Yes, I didn't do much singing today, I know, but <laughs> I know you guys want to sing. I know y'all guys want to sing. Okay, 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 before we go. <laughs> God is able to do just what he said he will do hallelujah he's gonna fulfill every promise to you <laughs> don't give up on god cause he won't give up on you 
he's able. Oh, oh, he's able. God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. <laughs> Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. He's able, oh, 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 He's able. <laughs> I feel the chains falling. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, hallelujah. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Father, Lord, thank you. My treasures, if you're new here and you wish to subscribe, go right ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. And as I already said in my video, a man's rejection is God's protection. Always remember to thank God every day. Yes, we need to remember to thank God. What little we got. If it's a cup of drink, thank God. If it's a little bit of food, thank God. If it's biscuits, thank God. We have our kids, thank God. We have our life, thank God. Father, Lord, we thank you. We always thank Him. Thank Him every day. Let Him know you're thankful for every little thing, whatever it is. Blessings, whatever it is. Just to be able to wake up to see a new day for our Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Keep on thanking Him. Keep on praising Him. <sighs> Keep on thanking. Keep on praising Him. So my treasures, as I already said, thank God every day for life.